Emperor Wen of Sui, Sui Wen Di, the 21st of July 541 to the 13th of August 604. Personal name Yang Jian, Yang Jian, Shanbei name Pulu Ru Jian, Pulu Ru Jian, nickname En Rihanna, Chinese, Na Luo Yan, Pinyin, Naloyan, was the founder and first emperor of China's Sui Dynasty 581 to 618 AD. He was a hard-working administrator and a micromanager. The Sui Shu records him as having withdrawn his favor from the Confucians, giving it to the group advocating Xing Ming and authoritarian government. As a Buddhist, he encouraged the spread of Buddhism through the state. He is regarded as one of the most important emperors in Chinese history, reunifying China in 589 after centuries of division since the fall of Western Jin Dynasty in 316. During his reign began the construction of the Grand Canal. As a Northern Zhou official, Yang Jian served with apparent distinction during the reigns of Emperor Wu of Northern Zhou and Emperor Zan of Northern Zhou. When the erratic Emperor Zan died in 580, Yang, as his father-in-law, seized power as regent. After defeating the general Yuqi Zhang, who resisted him, he seized the throne for himself, establishing the new Sui dynasty as its Emperor Wen. He was the first Chinese to rule North China after the Shanbei invasion which conquered that area from the Lu Song dynasty not counting the brief reconquest of that region by Emperor Wu of Liang. Generally speaking, Emperor Wen's reign was a great period of prosperity not seen since the Han dynasty. Economically, the dynasty prospered. It was said that there was enough food stored for 50 years. The military was also powerful. At the beginning of his reign, Sui faced the threat of the Gokturks to the north, and neighbored Tibetan tribes to the west, Goguryeo in the northeast, and Champa Linyi threatening the south. By the end of Emperor Wen's reign, the Gokturks had split into an eastern and a western Khaganate, the eastern one being nominally submissive to Sui, as was Goguryeo. Champa was defeated and, while not conquered, did not remain a threat. Emperor Wen is also famous for having the fewest number of concubines for an adult Chinese emperor. Emperor Fei of Western Wei and the Ming Dynasty Hongzi Emperor were the only two perpetually monogamous Chinese emperors. Emperor Wen was known for having only two concubines, although he might have had additional concubines not documented by traditional historians, with whom he might not have had sexual relations until after the death in 602 of his wife Empress Dugu, whom he loved and respected deeply. Early life The Yang of Hongnong Hongnong Yangshi were asserted as ancestors by the Sui emperors like the Longshi Lis were asserted as ancestors of the Tang emperors. Yang Jian's clan claimed descent from the Han dynasty general Yang Zhen. Yang Zhen's eighth-generation descendant Yang Zan, Yang Zan served as a commandary governor for a Yan state former Yan or later Yan during the Sixteen Kingdoms period, and his descendants subsequently served the Northern Wei dynasty. Yang Jian's father Yang Zhang, Yang Zhang followed the late Northern Wei general Yuan Tai and later became prominent in the branch successor state of Northern Wei, Western Wei, under Yuan's regency. Yang Jian's mother Lady Lu gave birth to him at a Buddhist temple in Fengyi, Fengyi in modern Wainan, Shaanxi. A Buddhist nun was impressed with his appearance, and raised him in his early years. Yang Jian attended the Imperial College for the Sons of the Nobility and High Officials. When he was 14 years old, he was appointed to serve in the military under Yuan Tai. In 555, on account of Yang Zhang's accomplishments, Yang Jian received several official ranks, including the title of the Duke of Chengji. Shang in 557, Dugu Xin, impressed with Yang Jian, gave his daughter, Empress Dugu Qiluo, to Yang and made her his wife. He was 16, and she was 13. After Yuan Tai's son Emperor Ming of Northern Zhou came to the throne later that year, Yang Jian was made the Vice Minister of Internal Affairs, and he was created the greater title of Duke of Daxing. Da Xing Zheng. Subsequently, during the reign of Emperor Ming's brother Emperor Wu, Yang Jian was further promoted in military authority. After Yang Zhang's death in 568, he inherited the title of Duke of Sui. In 573, Emperor Wu took Yang Jian's daughter Yang Lehua to be the wife and crown princess of his son Yuan Yun, the crown prince, and further honored Yang Jian. It was said that, however, that Yang Jian was so unusual in his appearance that some of Emperor Wu's close associates suspected Yang Jian of eventually harboring treasonous intent. Both Emperor Wu's brother Yuan Xian the Prince of Qi and the General Wang Gui, Wang Gui were said to have suggested that Emperor Wu execute Yang Jian, but Emperor Wu resisted. 
Still, Yang Jian heard rumors and tried to hide his own talent to avoid trouble. It was not until 575 when Emperor Wu involved Yang Jian in a major campaign against rival Northern Qi. Yang Jian also participated in the 576-577 campaign that saw Emperor Wu being able to destroy Northern Qi and seize its territory. In 578, Emperor Wu died, and Yuan Yun took the throne as Emperor Zan. Emperor Zan immediately began to show erratic behavior, and while he created Yang Jian's daughter Crown Princess Yang Empress, he suspected Yang Jian deeply, although he made Yang Jian the Minister of Defense. In 579, Emperor Zan passed the throne to his young son Yuan Chan by his concubine consort Zhu Manyue as Emperor Jing and became retired emperor with the atypical title of Emperor Tianyuan, Tianyuan Wangdi, but continued to exercise imperial powers. On one occasion, he became so suspicious of Yang Jian that he stated to Empress Yang, I will surely slaughter your clan. He then summoned Yang Jian to the palace, with instructions to kill him if his expressions betrayed any worries, but Yang Jian arrived without showing any unusual emotions, and so avoided being killed. On another occasion, Empress Yang displeased Emperor Zan, and Emperor Zan ordered her to commit suicide. When Duchess Dugu heard this, she went to the palace to beg Emperor Zan's forgiveness, and Emperor Zan eventually spared Empress Yang. Regency. In summer 580, with Emperor Zan intending to conquer Chen Dynasty, he sent Yang Jian to be the commandant at Yang Province, Yangzhou roughly modern Luan, Anhui to prepare for the campaign against Chen. Before Yang Jian could depart, however, Emperor Zan suddenly grew seriously ill. Two of Emperor Zan's close associates, Lu Fang, Lu Fang and Zheng Yi, Zheng Yi who were friends of Yang's, summoned Yang to the palace to prepare to serve as regent, overriding the desire of another closet associate, Yan Ji Yi, Yan Ji Yi to have Emperor Zan's uncle Yuan Zhao, Yu Wen Zhao the Prince of Zhao appointed regent. Emperor Zan soon died, and Zheng and Lu issued an edict in Emperor Zan's name appointing Yang regent. Yang immediately pleased the officials at the capital by abolishing the wastefulness and cruel policies of Emperor Zan, and he himself demonstrated both hard work and frugality, which impressed the people. Fearful of the intentions of the general Yuqi Zhang, who was then the commandant at Shang province, Shangzhou roughly modern Handan, Hebei, he summoned Yuqi back to the capital. Yuqi, however, refused, and believing that Yang's intentions were to usurp the throne, rose at Shang province against Yang. He was supported by the generals Sima Xiaonan, Sima Xiaonan the commandant at Xuan province, Xuan Zhou roughly modern Xiaogan, Hubei and Wang Qian, Wang Qian the commandant at Yi province roughly modern Chengdu, Sichuan. However, just 68 days after Yu Qi rose in rebellion, the general Wei Xiaokuan defeated Yu Qi, and Yu Qi committed suicide. Wang was also soon defeated, and Sima fled to Chen. To prevent Yu Qi's headquarters at Yicheng to be used again as a base of opposition against him, Yang Jian had Yicheng Northern Qi's old capital torn down. During Yu Qi's campaign, Zhou princes like Yuan Xian Prince of Bai and Yuan Zhao made attempts to assassinate Yang, but failed. In response, Yang put Yuan Xian, Yuan Zhao and Zhao's younger brother Yuan Sheng Yu Wen Sheng the Prince of Yu and their sons to death, and after Yu Qi was defeated, he began to slaughter the Yuan clan in earnest. He also had Emperor Jing promote his titles quickly, and he changed his surname back to Yang. Around the new year 581, his title was promoted to Prince of Sui. Sui In spring 581, he had Emperor Jing yield the throne to him, ending Northern Zhou and establishing Sui dynasty, as its emperor Wen. His use of Sui as his new dynasty name was typical of Chinese historical dynastic transitions, using the old fief name as the new dynasty's name. But he, believing that the character for his fee sway, sway to contain a chuo, radical, denoting walking, and therefore a lack of permanence in the regime, removed chuo from the character, rendering it sway. Topic: <laughs> Early Kaihuang Era. Emperor Wen abolished Northern Zhou's governmental organization of six departments, instead establishing five main bureaus. Executive Bureau, Shang Su Sheng, Shang Shu Sheng Examination Bureau, Men Zha Sheng, Men Sha Sheng Legislative Bureau, Nei Shi Sheng, Nei Shi Sheng Palace Library, and Eunuch Bureau, Nei Shi Sheng. 
Ne Shi Sheng note different tone and character versus Legislative Bureau, with two additional independent agencies, eleven other independent departments, and twelve military commands. He posthumously honored his father Yang Zhang and mother Lady Lu as Emperor and Empress. He created his wife Duchess Dugu Empress and their oldest son Yang Yang Crown Prince, he created his brothers and his other sons Imperial Princes. He initially created Northern Zhou's Emperor Jing the Duke of Jia, but soon slaughtered all grandsons of Yuan Tai, and eventually put the Duke of Jia to death as well. He entrusted most of the important governmental matters to his officials Gao Zhang, Yang Su, and Su Wei. Agreeing with some officials' assertions that Northern Zhou fell because its imperial princes lacked power to protect the central government, he sent his sons out to key provinces with broad powers. He further commissioned the official Pei Zheng, Pai Zheng to carry out a project of simplifying the penal code and decrease the penalty from the harsh laws, a reform that was later largely accepted by the succeeding dynasties. Emperor Wen did not maintain as submissive a relationship with Tuju, which brought resentment from Tuhue's Shabolue Khan Ashina Shetu, and Ashina Shetu's wife, Northern Zhou's Princess Qianjin Yuan Zhao's daughter particularly hated Emperor Wen for destroying Northern Zhou. Ashina Shetu therefore carried out a series of border attacks against Sui, allied with Gao Baoning, Gao Bao Ning the former Northern Qi general who was still holding Ying province, Ying Zhou roughly modern Zhaoyang, Liaoning. In response, under advice from the general Zhang Sun Sheng, Zhang Sun Sheng Emperor Wen carried out the strategy of placating Ashina Shetu's subordinate Khans his uncle Datu Khan Ashina Dianhue, Ashina Dianjue, cousin Abo Khan Ashina Daxanbian, Ashina Da Xianbian, and brother Ashina Chuluaho Ashina Chuluohu to create dissension within Tuju, and gradually, the strategy worked, causing Tuju to be unable to take unified actions against Sui. In 581, Emperor Wen commissioned a major attack on Chen, and while it was initially successful, Emperor Wen withdrew the attack in spring 582 after hearing that Emperor Zan of Chen had died and believing it wrongful to attack a state whose emperor had just died. In 582, believing that Chang'an was too small of a city, Emperor Wen built a new capital nearby, which he named Daxing, and in spring 583 he moved the capital to Daxing. From that point forward, Daxing and Chang'an became interchangeable names, although by the time of succeeding Tang dynasty, the new capital was known again just as Chang'an. Also in 582, Emperor Wen, thankful for the refusal by the vassal Emperor Ming of Western Liang to support Yuqi Zhang in 580, withdrew his forces from Western Liang's capital Jiangling, permitting Western Liang a degree of self-governance. He also took Emperor Ming's daughter as the wife and princess to his son, Yang Guang the Prince of Jin. After Emperor Ming's death in 585 and succession by his son Emperor Jing of Western Liang, however, Emperor Wen re-established the post of Commandant of Jiangling and again put Western Liang territory under military control. By spring 583, Tuhue's internal dissension had become serious enough that Emperor Wen felt comfortable enough to commission his brother Yang Shuang, Yang Shuang the Prince of Wei to command a major attack against Ashina Shetu. Yang Shuang achieved a great victory, and part of his army, commanded by the general Yin Shou, Yin Shou defeated Gao, forcing Gao to try to flee to the Khitan, but on the way, Gao was killed by his own subordinates, ending the very last bit of northern Qi resistance. After the defeat, the various subordinate Khans further engaged in battles among themselves and against Ashina Shetu, with Sui watching by, refusing to give aid to any side. By 584, Ashina Shetu submitted to Sui, and even the resentful Princess Qianjin referred to Emperor Wen as father. He created her the Princess Dei. In summer 584, believing that the Wei River, on account of its sandbars and treacherous waters, was becoming too difficult of a route for food transport to Daxing, commissioned the official Yuan Kai, Yuan Kai to construct a canal between Daxing and Tong Pass, parallel to the Wei River, named the Guangtong Canal, Guangtong Ku greatly easing the transport of food and other supplies to the capital region Guangzhou. Nevertheless, on account of a famine in Guangzhou in fall 584, Emperor Wen briefly took up residence in Luoyang. In 586, the officials Liang Xian, Liang Xian, the Duke of Cheng, Yuan Xin, Yuan Xin, the Duke of Qi, and Lu Fang, the Duke of Shu, all three of whom were friends of Emperor Wen, but all of whom believed that they had been slighted by Emperor Wen, were accused of plotting rebellion, and all three were executed. 
In spring 587, continuing his canal building regime, Emperor Wen built the Shanyang Canal between the Yangtze River and the Wai River to improve the transport of material between those two rivers. In fall 587, Emperor Wen summoned Western Liang's Emperor Jing to Chang'an to meet him. Emperor Jing complied with the direction. While Emperor Jing was away, however, Emperor Wen, believing that Jiangling would not be guarded well, sent his general Kui Hongdu, Kui Hongdu to Jiangling. Emperor Jing's uncle Xiao Yan, Xiao Yan the Prince of Anping and Xiao Huan, Xiao Huan the Prince of Yixing instead believed that Kui was intending to attack the city, and they took the populace of the city and surrendered to the Chen general Chen Huji, Shen Wei Ji the cousin to Chen's emperor Chen Shubao. In response, Emperor Wen abolished Western Liang, directly seizing its territory, while creating Emperor Jing the Duke of Zhu. Emperor Wen, who had been planning to conquer Chen for years, now further enhanced his planning in earnest. In spring 588, Emperor Wen publicly announced a campaign against Chen, commanded by Yang Guang, another of his sons Yang Jun the Prince of Qin, and Yang Su, with Yang Guang in overall command. Gao Zhang served as Yang Guang's assistant. In spring 589, the Sui general Heru Abai crossed the Yangtze at Jinko, Jinko in modern Zhenjiang, Jiangsu, and the Sui general Han Qinhu Han Qin crossed the Yangtze at Kaishi, Kaishi in modern mansion, Anhui. Meanwhile, Yang Su was advancing from the west down the Yangtze, and Yang Jun was stationed in the middle Yangtze region, cutting off any Chen forces that might have been able to come to the aid of Chen's capital Jiangking. Herua soon defeated and captured the Chen general Xiao Mohe, who was making a final attempt to repel Herua and Han's forces from Jiangking, and Jiangking fell immediately after. Chen Shubao was captured but not harmed. Rather, he and his clan members were transported to Chang'an, where Emperor Wen treated them as honored guests. Some Chen generals briefly resisted, but soon the Sui had control. The southern and northern dynasties period was over, and Sui had united China. Much as how he had torn down Yicheng after Yuqi defeat, Emperor Wen tore down Jiangking, establishing only a minor garrison at the nearby Shitu as Zhang province. Zhang topic. Late Kaihuang era In 590, apparently jealous of the talent of the official Li Delin, who had been key in his takeover of power as regent and who had contributed to the strategies in conquering Chen, Emperor Wen, believing in several false accusations against Li, removed Li from his office and made him a provincial governor. Li would not return to the central government for the rest of his life. After Chen was conquered, Sui began to apply its laws over Chen's former territory, which brought resentment from the gentry, as they had been treated preferentially under Chen and its predecessor dynasties in the south. Su Wei further wrote a work known as the Five Teachings, Wu Zhao Wu Zhao, which is no longer extant but thought to be a work about loyalty to Sui and ordered that all former Chen subjects read and memorize it, leading to further resentment. When a rumor spread that Sui would move Chen subjects into the Guanzhong region in 590, nearly all of former Chen realm rose in rebellion, but in an unorganized manner. Emperor Wen sent Yang Su to quell the rebellions, and the rebels were no match for Yang Su. Within the year, the rebellions were put down. In 591, Tuyu Hun sought peace and, as per custom, its Khan Murong Shifu, Mu Rong Shifu offered his daughter to be a concubine for Emperor Wen. Emperor Wen accepted the peace offer but declined the offer of Murong Shifu's daughter. It was, however, around this time that he did take Chen Shubao's sister and another woman from Jiangking, Consort Kai, as concubines, although it appeared likely that Consort Kai was never able to have sexual relations with Emperor Wen while Empress Dugu was alive, Consort Chen, as the sister of a submissive former sovereign, might have had sexual relations with Emperor Wen on an infrequent basis, but it is not clear. In spring 592, the official He Tuo, He Tuo who, despite his senior status over Su Wei's son Su Kui, Su Kui was losing out against Su Kui over a debate as to the designation of official music styles for Sui. In anger, He Tuo accused Su Wei of factionalism, and after investigation by Emperor Wen's son Yang Shu and the official Yu Qingcha Ted Zhang, Su Wei was removed from office. After Su Wei's removal, Yang Su and Gao Zhang became effectively the co-prime ministers. When Heru Abai, who believed that he should have been prime minister, complained, Emperor Wen removed him from his post as well and stripped him of his ducal title, but restored the ducal title a year later. 
Su Wei, however, was back in his post at the latest by 595. Also in 592, Emperor Wen, reacting to an overflowing abundance of food and silk in the governmental stores, reduced the taxes heavily, and he also sent messengers around central China, redistributing land to give the poor farming land. In 593, Emperor Wen commissioned a summer vacation palace, Renshao Palace, Ren Shou Gong in modern Baoji, Shaanxi, away from Chang'an, with Yang Su in charge of the project. The palace was far more luxurious than Emperor Wen expected, and its construction cost many lives. When it was completed in spring 595 and Emperor Wen visited the palace, he was initially very displeased with Yang Su, but Empress Dugu persuaded him that Yang Su knew that he had little other entertainment, and she awarded Yang Su much treasure to show appreciation. Also in 593, knowing that the Princess Dai was still resentful of him, Emperor Wen had the official Pei Ju inform the cousin and subordinate Khan to Tuhue's Dulan Khan, Ashina Yangyulu, the Tuli Khan Ashina Rongan son of Ashina Chuluaho that he would let Ashina Rongan marry a Sui princess if Ashina Rongan was able to get Princess Dai killed. Ashina Rongan, in response, accused Princess Dai of adultery, and Ashina Yangyulu killed her and requested another marriage with Sui. Instead, Emperor Wen agreed to marry a princess to Ashina Rongan, in order to create greater friction between them. In 594, in response to another famine in the Guanzhong region, Emperor Wen again temporarily took up residence in Luoyang. He also, to share in some of his people's suffering, abstained from meat for a year. Late in 594, Yang Guang submitted a petition that Emperor Wen carry out the ancient ceremonies of worshipping the heaven and earth gods at Mount Tai. Emperor Wen declined to carry out a full set of ceremonies due to its costs, but in spring 595 carried out an abbreviated version to seek blessings from the gods due to the ongoing drought. Also in spring 595, Emperor Wen ordered that no weapons be held by private individuals and that all of them be collected and destroyed, although he exempted the border provinces from this edict. In 596, Emperor Wen created a daughter of a clansman the Princess Guanghua and married her to Morong Shifu, to cement the peaceful relations with Tuyuhun. In 597, Quan Wan, Quan Wan the chief of the Nanning tribe, Nanning Yi located in modern Kajing, Yunnan, rebelled. Emperor Wen sent the general Shi Wansui Shi Wan Sui the Duke of Taiping against Quan, forcing him to surrender. Initially, she was to take Quan to Chang'an to be presented to Emperor Wen, but Quan bribed Xi, and so she allowed him to stay. Also in 597, Li Guangxi, Li Guangxi the chief of the Aborigine people in Gui province, Guizhou roughly modern Guilin, Guangxi, also rebelled. Emperor Wen sent the generals Wang Shiji, Wang Shiji and Zhou Fashang, Zhou Fashang against Li, and Zhou was able to defeat and kill Li. However, in the fall, Li Shixian, Li Shi Xian who might have been related to Li Guangxi, rebelled at Gui province, and Emperor Wen sent Yu Qingcha the Duke of Lu to attack Li Shixian. Yu was successful in suppressing the rebellion. Subsequently, however, Yu's brother-in-law Zhao Shizhu, Zhao Shane Zhu who had an affair with Yu's concubine, falsely accused Yu of treason, and around the new year 598, Yu was executed. Also in 597, Emperor Wen felt that the punishment for official misconduct was too light, and authorized that supervising officials would be permitted to batter their subordinates with large canes if they felt that the legally prescribed punishment was too light in comparison to the degree of misconduct. Further, also believing that there was too much theft and robbery throughout the realm, he increased the punishment for theft to death—a law that he subsequently abolished. Also in 597, Emperor Wen's son Yang Jun the Prince of Qin, the commandant at Bing Province, Bingzhou roughly Taiyuan, Shaanxi, was poisoned, but not to death, by his jealous wife Princess Kui. After Yang Jun was taken back to Chang'an for treatment, Emperor Wen discovered that Yang Jun had been wasteful at his post, and removed him from all of his offices, allowing him to only retain the title of Imperial Prince. When Princess Kui's poisoning was discovered, Emperor Wen ordered Yang Jun to divorce her, and subsequently ordered her to commit suicide. When Lu Sheng, Lu Sheng and Yang Su suggested that the punishment against Yang Jun was overly severe, Emperor Wen responded to Yang Su, I am the father of just five sons, not the father of all people over the land. If I agreed with you, does that mean I have to draft a penal code for the emperor's sons? Even a man as kind as the Duke of Zhou executed his brothers, the lords of Guan and Kai, for their crimes. 
I am nowhere as capable as the Duke of Zhou, so I can break my own laws. Also in 597, Ashina Rongan arrived at Chang'an, and Emperor Wen gave him the daughter of a clansman, whom he created the Princess Anyi, to be his wife, and awarded Ashina Rongan with much treasure, to try to break the bond between him and Ashina Yangyulu. From this point on, whenever Ashina Yangyulu would prepare to attack, Ashina Rongan would report his plans to Emperor Wen, allowing Sui forces to become prepared. In 598, King Yang Yang of Goguryeo attacked Ying Province, and while the governor of Ying Province, Wei Chong, Wei Chong fought off the Goguryeo attack, Emperor Wen was angered. He sent his son Yang Liang the Prince of Han and Wang Shiji to serve as commanding generals, with Gao Zhang serving as Yang Liang's assistant, and the former Chen general Zhou Luohu, Zhou Luohu serving as the commander of the navy, to attack Goguryeo. However, the forces ran into food supply problems, and the ships ran into a storm and suffered great losses. Both at sea and on the ground, Goguryeo forces inflicted heavy losses on the Sui forces. Nevertheless, King Yang Yang ceased his raids into China and so Emperor Wen called off the campaign against Goguryeo, unable to commit yet another enormous force to punish Goguryeo after the recent losses. As King Widioke of Baekje offered assistance to Sui during the campaign, this precipitated a conflict between Goguryeo and Baekje. Also in 598, Quan Wan rebelled again, and Yang Shu accused Shi of accepting bribes from Quan earlier. Emperor Wen considered executing Shi, but ultimately chose only to remove him from his posts, and it appeared soon after Shi was restored to his post. In 599, after Ashina Rongan reported that Ashina Yangyulu was planning to attack, Emperor Wen took preemptive action and had Gao Zhang, Yang Su, and Yan Rong, Yan Rong command a three-pronged attack against Ashina Yangyulu, with Yang Liang in nominal command but not at the front line. In response, Ashina Yangyulu and Ashina Dianhui made a joint attack against Ashina Rongan, defeating him and largely seizing his tribe. Ashina Rongan fled to Sui, and Emperor Wen treated him as an honored guest. Subsequently, both Gao Zhang and Yang Su engaged Tuju forces and repelled them. Also in 599, with Wang Shiji's subordinate Wang Fu Shaosh, Huang Fu Shao Zai accusing Wang of treason after Wang refused to shield Wang Fu after he committed crimes, Emperor Wen believed Wang Fu and executed Wang. By this point, Yang Yang the crown prince had lost the favor of both Emperor Wen and Empress Dugu, over his being overly wasteful which displeased Emperor Wen and having many concubines which displeased Empress Dugu. They therefore considered deposing him and replacing him with Yang Guang. When Empress Dugu hinted as such, Gao Zhang stated clear opposition. Meanwhile, Emperor Wen himself had engaged in sexual relations with Yuqi Zhang's granddaughter, who had been made a servant after her grandfather's defeat. And when Empress Dugu found out, she had Yuqi Zhang's granddaughter killed. Emperor Wen was exceedingly angry and rode away from the palace on a horse, returning to the palace only at the urging of Gao and Yang Su. But with Gao further angering Empress Dugu when Gao referred to her as a woman. In 599, Gao was accused of associating with Wang Shiji and removed from his posts. Subsequently, Gao was accused of cursing Emperor Wen, but when the sentence of death was recommended, Emperor Wen commented that he could not kill Gao soon after killing Yu and Wang, and therefore only reduced Gao to commoner rank. In winter 599, Emperor Wen created Ashina Rongan Kiman Khan, and commissioned Zongsun Sheng to build the city of Dali, Dali in modern Hohat to house Ashian Rongan's people, and also sent an army to protect Ashina Rongan. By now, the Princess Anyi had died, and Emperor Wen married another daughter of a clansman, whom he created the Princess Yi Cheng, Yi Sheng Gong Zhu to marry Ashina Rongan. Soon thereafter, Ashina Yangyulu was assassinated, and Ashina Dianhui declared himself Bujia Khan. In summer 600, Ashina Dianhui attacked Ashina Rongan, and Sui forces fought off Ashina Dianhui's attack, further causing Ashina Rongan to be grateful to Sui. In fall 600, with Yang Guang and Yang Su forming a faction, with tacit support of Empress Dugu, they had Yang Yang's associate Ji Wei, Ji Wei falsely accuse Yang Yang of plotting treason. Emperor Wen deposed Yang Yang and replaced him with Yang Guang. Emperor Wen also put a number of officials whom he believed to be part of Yang Yang's faction, including Shi and Yuan Min, Yuan Min the Duke of Wuan, to death. <inaudible> Renshao era In 602, Empress Dugu died, and Emperor Wen was greatly saddened. 
Thereafter, he began to engage in sexual relations with his concubines, favoring consorts Chen and Kai. Also in 602, Yang Guang, believing that Yang Shu would eventually create trouble for him, had Yang Su collect evidence of Yang Shu's wastefulness and use of items that were only appropriate for emperors. Yang Su submitted the evidence to Emperor Wen, and Emperor Wen, in anger, recalled Yang Shu to the capital. After Yang Shu arrived at the capital, Yang Guang further manufactured evidence that Yang Shu had cursed Emperor Wen and Yang Liang. In anger, Emperor Wen reduced Yang Shu to commoner rank and put him under house arrest. In 603, Ashina Dianhui, faced with rebellions from the Tl and Pugu, Pugu tribes, surrendered to Ashina Rongan. By now, Ashina Rongan became the undisputed Khan of the Tuju. In spring 604, Emperor Wen, as per his custom, went to Renshao Palace to avoid the heat, despite warnings from the sorcerer Zongchu Taiyi, Zhang Cho Taiyi that if he went, he would never return. While there, he grew ill, and in fall 604, he died. He was buried at the Yangling District's Tailing Tailing Tumulus Mausoleum, with Empress Dugu, though not in the same burial chamber. How Emperor Wen died, however, is a matter of historical controversy. Most traditional historians relay and believe an account in which, while Emperor Wen was ill, Yang Guang tried to rape consort Chen. When she reported the attempted rape to Emperor Wen, he became angry and had the officials Lu Xu, Lu Xu the husband of his daughter Yang Awu Yang Awu the princess Landling and Yuan Yan Yuan Yan the duke of Longgu summon Yang Yang, intending to restore him. When Yang Guang found out, he, in association with Yang Su, had Lu and Yuan arrested, and then sent his associate Zhang Heng Zhang Eng to kill Emperor Wen, and Zhang did so. Soon thereafter, he forced consorts Chen and Kai to become his concubines and had Yang Yang put to death, and only then announced Emperor Wen's death and took the throne as Emperor Yang. The historian Sima Guang, in his Zizi Tongjin, borrowing parts of analyses from the Book of Sui and the history of the Northern Dynasties, opined, Gozu Emperor Wen's temple name was by nature cautious and solemn, and he always made sure that his orders are carried out, whether it be an order for an affirmative act or for a prohibition. He got up early in the morning to host imperial gatherings, and he would not appear tired even after noon. Although he was himself stingy, but he did not hold back his awards when rewarding the people with accomplishments. He gave much compensation to the families of soldiers who died in battle, and sent messengers to comfort them. He loved his people, encouraging them to till the field and grow mulberries, and decreasing their labor and tax burdens. He himself lived simply and frugally, and the vessels and clothes he used, even after they became worn out, continued to be patched and used. Except at feasts, his meals would contain a single meat dish. The clothes of the palace women were continued to be used even after they were washed. Based on his influence, during his reign, men only wore cotton and cloth, not silk, and their decorations were made of copper, iron, bones, and horns, not gold, silver, or gemstones. There were bountiful productions of food and textile, so much so that the storage was insufficient for them. At the start of his reign, the census rolls only had less than 4 million households, but at the end of his reign, there were almost 9 million households, and Ji Province, Jizhou roughly modern Hengshui, Hebei by itself contained 1 million households. However, he was suspicious, critical, and picky, believing many alienating words of his officials. Therefore, even of those with the most accomplishments and his old friends, not one was able to maintain the relationship from start to end. He even treated his own sons as enemies. These were his faults. Emperor Wen also established seven orchestras comprising musicians from across Asia at his court. These orchestras were expanded to nine by his son Emperor Yang of Sui. Topic. Family Parents Yang Zhang, Wu Yuan Huang Di Yang Zhang 507 to 568. Posthumous Empress Lu, Yuan Ming Huang Hu Lu Shi personal name Ku Tao. Ku Dao consorts and issue, Empress Dugu of Henan, Wen Xian Huang Hu He Nan Dugu Shi 544 to 602, personal name Jia Lo. Jia Luo Princess Leping, Le Ping Gong Zhu 561 to 609, personal name Le Hua. Li Hua Princess Shang. Shang Gong Zhu Yang Yang, Fang Ling Wang Yang Yang 568-604 Yang Guang, Yang Huang Di Yang Guang 569-618 
Princess Guangping Guang Ping Gong Zhu Yang Jun, Qin Shao Wang Yang Jun 571-600 Unnamed daughter Yang Shu, Shu Wang Yang Shu 573-618 Princess Lanling, Lan Ling Gong Zhu 573-604 Yang Liang, Han Wang Yang Liang 575-605 Second rank consort Chen of Yingchuan, Zan Hua Fu Ren Ying Chuan Shen Shi 577-605 References Bibliography <references> 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 Wright, Arthur F. 1979. The Sui Dynasty, 581 to 617. In Twitchit, Dennis. The Cambridge History of China, Volume 3, Sui and Tang China, 589 to 906, Part 1. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. pp. 48 to 149. ISBN 978 0 521 21446 9.